Let's balance the equation for B5H9 plus O2 and look at the type of reaction. Let's start with the type of reaction. Because we have this compound here and it's combining with oxygen, we could call this a combustion reaction. We also have the oxidation states for the oxygen and the boron. They're changing, so it would be a redox reaction as well. Let's balance the equation. Five boron atoms, nine hydrogens, two oxygens. Product side, two borons, and then let's look at our hydrogens. We have two of those. Oxygen, we have three here. Don't forget this one in water. So three plus one, that gives us four. So be careful counting your oxygens. Because the oxygen here is all by itself, when we change the coefficient, it won't change the number of borons or hydrogens. So let's leave oxygen until last. Let's try to get the boron here to an even number. So we could multiply this by two. That would give us so we could put a 5 here, 2 times 5, that would give us 10, and let's update the oxygens. 3 times 5, that gives us 15 plus the 1, now we have 16. Let's balance the hydrogens by putting a 9 in front of the H2O. 2 times 9, that's 18, we're good there, but again, we need to update the oxygens. So 5 times 3, that's 15, plus 9 times 1, that gives us 24. But again, this oxygen's all by itself. If we put a 12 here, 2 times 12, that gets 24, and we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for B5H9 plus O2. Thanks for watching.